Hi, lovely people. Let me show you a delicious baked dish with aubergines. Yeah, filled aubergines. So nice. So delicious. But so, so easy to make. First of all, you can see I just grew some aubergines. This is the last two I have. Not for long. It's just to soften up because I have to go inside the oven. So you can see they're not too thick. But don't forget. When they actually cook, they will actually flat it down and they will become a little bit smaller. You can roll it, you can fill any way you like. But this particular one is called involtino, little pastels of a pasta. Here, this is what actually go inside. It's a spaghetti, actually this is leftover spaghetti of yesterday, which I tossed in a little tomato sauce. I put some parmesan and when actually they're lovely and cold, I can actually feel the aubergines. But also I have some mozzarella. Put on my mozzarella, a bit of cheese would do okay. Basil is nice, it costs tomato sauce. Look, you can see I actually I grill all. I didn't use any oil at all. I just slice it and put them on a griddle. So I crisscross and then use a fork, please. Instead of use a tongue, just a little bit, not much. You know, you roll it up. Ready to eat. Now, you're gonna go straight in the middle. You can see how easy they are. You open them inside. Now, I have a lovely mozzarella. As I said, you don't have a mozzarella. Use just Parmesan cheese. You don't have a Parmesan. Just any cheese will do it. Just a little slice of a mozzarella. Just put them on top. Nice bit of basil. Basil! Move it up. i put the two of those. So, you close in one side. Then you close the other side, then the other side, and the other one, and you turn upside down, and you've got lovely puzzles filled with spaghetti. But you can put the meat inside if you like it. Anything goes, you fancy to put them inside. Rice will work in as well. This is so versatile, it's incredible. Again, then you close one, you close the other one, you close the other one, and you turn upside down. The reason why you turn upside down because if I put them up this way, they probably will open. But when I put it down and bake it like that, they stay like that. And I'm closing. I've got one left. Do you know what? I'm still going to fill it. A little bit less of a mozzarella, because I'm going to put more mozzarella on top. That's good. Again, I'm going to use extra basil with this one. And look how simple it is. Right, now it's done. Let me show you how we're going to bake it. Right. I've done some lovely tomato sauce, which I just used the garlic, the tomato, and basil. Nothing else. So I've got a nice baked dish. I'm going to start it with last bit of tomato sauce underneath it. So we're going to start to put them all inside. Fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, and I stand. And remember the last one? There it is. Well, let's put them on the side. Then you get more tomato. Just put them on top. Okay, let me clear a little bit the tables. Let's put them on top here, which I can see much better. So I will start to put some parmesan on the side. Just a lot of parmesan. Then I will start to use mozzarella again. A few slices of a mozzarella. On each one, you will put a slice of a mozzarella. Oh, now we've done aeroplane as well. I think that they all wanted to come to eat here today. And just that they try to say, Gennaro, ah, oh, we gonna come to see you. Shall we parachute? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anyway. <laughs> so again, little slice. Then I will use a bread crumb. Let's use some basil as well little basil which it will give the lovely flavor of a Mediterranean dish and some bread crab which I made this bread crab so easy or put in that kind of a moulin now I'm gonna cover it with tin foil put them in the oven for about 30 minutes to 35 minutes temperature 200 centigrade and then the last five minutes I'm gonna remove the foil and it's gonna have it all lovely and crispy. Let's put them in the oven now. Huh? 
Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, good job I took him out of almost burning. Look at the way he saves Lynn. I love this music. Oh yes, oh my goodness me, oh my god, look at the mozzarella becoming so crispy on top. Mm. I dance it because it's hot. I can put a little extra parmesan on top if I want to, I love it. And then again, look at that pasta inside. I meet this plain, but you can have a lovely salad on the side. So good. Arrivederci.